Alarm systems link directly to the emergency services. In the event of an alert, the police, fire and ambulance services will be here in minutes. These large and dangerous true spiders are found throughout South America. Brazilian wandering spiders are fast, extremely venomous and can be very aggressive. When encountered, these spiders do not retreat. They raise their front legs towards the danger and will even turn around to constantly face the adversary. It holds the record for death by spider bites in recent years. Ten people have died from this venom in the past two decades. Between 1990 and 1993, over 4,000 people were admitted to hospital as a result of this species. With the largest venom glands of any spider, they pack enough poison to kill over 200 mice. These huge fangs inject venom into the victim. Once immobilized, the spider will vomit digestive fluids onto her dinner and begin to suck the juices. Spiders taste their food before they eat, using hollow taste hairs on their legs. As they suck up the bodily juices, they filter out the solid bits through tiny hairs. Some spiders have teeth-like projections on their fangs, which crush the prey as it's being digested. Only a tiny ball of hard body parts is discarded. Some spiders will wrap their prey in silk as they devour its liquefied flesh. And certain species of tarantulas have another weapon at their disposal, special hairs on the abdomen. The spider uses its legs to flick or brush these urticating hairs into the skin, eyes, nose and lungs of an attacker. Believed to be coated with irritant chemicals, these hairs can cause serious discomfort and if they get in your eyes, you may need surgery to remove them. If you're bitten by the Brazilian wandering spider, expect to suffer. You'll experience intensely painful and life-threatening effects that prevent blood clotting, cause vomiting, secrete fluid in the lungs and affect the heart rhythm, amongst others. She's fast, she's mean and she's deadly. OK, yeah, uh, let me just go for it. Well, she seems to have had her fill. So it's time for me to take my chances. I can just see a tip. I prefer to see her. Yeah, no, that's OK. This is for Nutria Ferra, or a Brazilian wandering spider. And she was found in a bunch of bananas in a market in the UK. And believe me, she's the last thing you want to find in your fruit when you're out buying it. Tropical spiders will become lethargic in colder climates which is fortunate for the person who found this one. She was picked up by experts at the Stratford Butterfly Farm in the UK and is usually kept safely under lock and key. There are around 35,000 species of true spider and they're all meat-eating predators. Another equally sinister member of the Phanutria genus is the Nigriventa. Now, you wouldn't normally keep her in an open-fronted tank because the Phanutria genus are very fast and aggressive. So I need to be very careful for her sake as well as mine. Phanutria are nomadic spiders. They don't build webs or live in burrows. Hence their common name, wandering spider. And it's for this reason that they appear in people's homes. If they get in your shoes and clothing, this is where the trouble starts. When they're cornered, they can bite in self-defence. One unusual characteristic of these spiders is that they will bite repeatedly, injecting more venom with each attack. Some believe that the neurotoxin of the Phanutria is the most potent spider venom in the world. Anti-venin is available for the bite of the wandering spiders, but they live in remote areas, so if you encounter one, you may not have time to get help. So beware. If you find a spider hiding in your bananas, handle it with care. <laughs>